today I unbox a really big box from Marty Station. Not So Average Builder is brought to you by these great retailers. There'll be promo codes in the description below. Hey guys, Tom here and this is Not So Average Builder. And I'm excited because A, my name's on a box, but B, more importantly actually, my channel name is on a box. And this came directly from Artie Station and there are awesome people over there. So if you have not already, make sure that you check them out uh, in the States. You can get them from USA Gundam Store. They are on pre-order or you can order directly from Artie Station. I have a promo code for either one to save you 10% off and they'll be down in the description below. Before we get started on this, I want to give a huge shout out to Artie Station for sending this over for me to review. You can see over here in the background, I have a ton of Artie Station stuff. That is their solo module in their drawer, their 36 millimeter and 26 millimeter uh, sliding tilting paint shelves, their regular drawer module, uh, three corner drawer modules, and their spray booth along with their manual stand up here. Those are all a part of their opera module, basically standalone units that you can buy and connect together and make a one giant unit. But that is not what we're gonna talk about today. We are gonna talk about something different. A very similar unit to this, this is their solo or standalone series that you can use by themselves. We're talking the Arty Station Symphony. This massive piece of equipment that you would put on your workstation is going to revolutionize how you store your hobby products. So let's jump in and see what you get in the box. In the box you get part number 1.2. Ah, yeah, so this is one and two. This gives you part number three, four, five, six, and seven. And the final box is eight, nine, and 10. I know what you're thinking, that was a lot of big box. Don't worry, there's more. Let me scoot these to the side. The final thing you get in here is a box that is the same width as the original box, or same length as the original box, but this one's called the large plate box, and it's numbers one, two, three, and six. So I'm gonna break these open, find the manual, and we will figure out how this thing goes together, and we'll start building it. So I found the manual. It was in box labeled one dash two, or one slash two. So let's break this open and see what you get. So of course, RD Station's signature read before you start assembling, single page, easy enough. Of course, the only tool that I will be using is going to be the rubber mallet that RD Station sent me on my last order. And I still have not picked any up, so we're gonna use the traditional Elmer's white glue. Uh, you don't have to use the glue all, you can just use traditional uh, PVA glue or white glue. Um, it isn't going to hold up as good as the Gorilla Wood glue, but that is okay. This for these have held up really well. I've not had an issue with them. They've not felt flimsy, weak, or falling apart. So this stuff does pretty well for what it is. If you're going to move them around a lot, probably should use something a little bit better. But enough of that. So then you also get Arty Station's cash back. Uh, they pay back 5% of the amount that you paid, and it shows you what you need to do. Let's break out the manual. So this thing is massive, uh, and it should be because it is a standalone unit, but it is very simple to use. I was hoping that the instructions would be a little more clear, but they are not. That's okay. Ah, okay. So you've got one, you've got two. So the way the instructions work, You've got assemble the left frame, assemble the right frame, and they are clearly different from each other. And then essentially you put those together on the bottom plate. Um, make sure that you pay attention to the little notches and whatnot that they put in these so that you know where to put them and you don't mess it up. But I think we'll just go ahead and assemble this.
just like that, it is built. I don't have everything in there. 99% uh, of the drawers are completely empty. But overall, I'm extremely pleased with this. It is a lot bigger than I expected it to be. I did measure my workbench uh, because I have a shelf right there. And it was a lot lower. And when I measured, it was maybe a couple millimeters below. But I was not taking into account my mat in the thickness, which is just so happens to be a millimeter or two more than the top of the surface. I had to raise the shelf. So this took me a lot longer than I expected it to. Now I will have to say, there's not any glue on this except for this portion, this decorative lip here, and that's pretty much it. And then of course the the drawers, but I used glue on the drawers even on the regular ones. No glue on this whatsoever. And I was able to pick this thing up, of course with nothing in it, move it over 10 feet away, set it down on the ground, raise the shelf up, move everything around, and then bring this back, and not a single thing feels loose, nothing fell off, it's sturdy. So if you're going to buy this, just know that it will handle you moving it around with no glue. And I figured with the weight of this thing, this thing's like 45 pounds empty, that there would be, it, this would just be a floppy mess. Now there is one thing that I would worry about, and it was one thing on here that I would 100% glue if you don't glue anything else, and that is that middle plate. Actually, the three plates along the back, they gave me a lot of issues, particularly that one in the middle, but the two side ones did also give me some trouble. I ended up, since you're not going to see it anyway, uh, just running a tape, a piece of tape, just regular old masking tape, nothing special, along the seam to hold that in place. And there is a bar that goes along the back. It says it's optional. Uh, you, you have to glue it, and the downside with gluing it is... It doesn't want to stay still, so I needed to use tape anyway. So I figured while I was there, I'll just go ahead and tape it all up. Now, there are some add-ons that you can get for this. I did not get those, but you can get the little tins that go in here. You can get the extra drawers. It, it I don't think I'll need them. Worst case scenario, you know, like I'll order them down the road. You can also get, order more of the paint stands. Now, I don't have any of the uh, enamel paints. That's the square edged ones like these. It does come with a set of these for the top and then a set of the 22 or 26 millimeter and then the 36 millimeter, the same thing as their sliding tilting paint drawer, but it also comes with one of these um, or a set of these to put those on there. But keep that in mind when you order this, you can pick what you want. Uh, this is just the, you know, you clicked it on there on artystation.com, submitted your order, and this is what you get. You get the six small drawers, you get six medium-sized drawers, and four of the large drawers. Of course, in the middle here, you've got your runner stand, you've got your manual stand. I already have one of those. It's off to the side here, uh, but it does come with this. Tool holders on the top. You've got your place to put your nippers, your other pliers, your tweezers. Um, you can put your extra thin in here. I've got my Mr. Weathering color in there. Uh, these are kind of a weird size because they're too small for your flow improvement bottles. The Vallejo ground textures are too big, just slightly. So I don't know what's supposed to fit there, but they're just a little too big. I think those are probably for like your, your mixing bottles that you're going to use. As far as the paint racks go, you can choose between your 26 millimeter, 36 millimeter enamel paint, or you can just do the round shelf that has no separation in it and you can put whatever size you want on there. So that is your four options you can choose from. It, like I said, if you order it, this is what you get exactly. This thing will hold uh, just about everything. If you're a basic, even to an advanced modeler, uh, this is gonna hold everything you need without question. You do have these little shelves right here, uh, but the downside is if you put anything on there, you have to remove it so you can get your drawer out. So, I mean, it's kind of useful to store things uh, in a very short amount of time. So, like, say you've got a kit that you need to throw some parts up here, that'd be fine. Uh, you can pick this up from usagundamstore.com. Uh, you can use my promo code NOTSOAVERAGE to get 10% off your pre-order from uh, USA Gundam Store. 
or you can get it directly from artystation.com, and there the pro- promo code is uh, NSAB2020 underscore 10. Either one of those two places you can get, you know you're going to get good service, you know you're going to get an exceptional product. Artie Station had a massive order sent out a while back, but of course the COVID situation happened and it greatly dampened getting the product from point A to point B. So that is where the holdup on the USA Gundam Store order is. So don't fret, you will get your stuff. It's just their order was massive. It got held up because all the nation's governments just didn't want to agree. So they were holding mail left and right, especially large quantities of packages. So it will come. Don't worry. Don't stress. But that's it, guys. You know Artie Station makes some epic products. Uh, this one is no exception. Give a shout out to Geo Builds. He got the symphony which is the big brother to this one this one's the one that uh, that folds up so his video will be out soon i will drop a link to his channel down below but you guys have a wonderful day and remember don't just be an average builder be a not so average one bye guys